So this video will be less scripted, less edited because I want to be more authentic, more of myself instead of just reading fully scripted videos. I'm, st I'm still experimenting with you know, scripted videos and less scripted videos and I feel like when I do less scripted videos, I'm more genuine, more authentic, more of myself than just reading the script instead of talking. So today I didn't write our script, I just wrote down some bullet points that I want to talk about. It will be more like a podcast style where it's longer video, less edited, less scripted. And I just lighted this scented candle from Rituals. It smells really good. They really make good candles, you know, <laughs> just to create the vibe. A few days ago, one of my favorite YouTubers, Ali Abdal, made a longer video. So it was less scripted, less edited. And he was talking about his, his failures in 2022 and for me personally that video was one of his best videos it was really genuine felt like it was authentic and i watched the whole video and it was like 40 minutes long video but i really enjoyed it today i wanted to talk about my first business that i failed and what i've learned from it so when i graduated from high school like everybody else i went to college I was studying graphic and digital media because I was interested in graphic design. And my plan was to have a graphic design diploma, work under a company for a few years and then eventually start my own business. Not long after I started going to college, I realized college wasn't for me. I was learning things that didn't interest me and things that I personally thought wasn't necessary and important. And at that time, I was watching a lot of videos around entrepreneurship and starting your own business, watching Gary V. Honestly, at that time, I felt like I was learning more from YouTube videos and Skillshare courses around graphic design more than the college and at that time I was also doing some graphic design freelance work. I tried going to college and I gave it a shot for like few more months and finally decided to drop out. For some reason I wanted to give college another shot. So the following year I applied to a different college but it didn't took long before I also dropped out of that college as well. So finally I was like, I don't need college to become successful. I can just learn everything from the internet and start my own business. So what I did was I looked for a job and I got a full-time job in a grocery store and was planning to work on graphic design after my work. So I did that for a few months. I got some freelance clients to work on graphic design, logo design, creating posters, and so on. While doing that, I was also looking up on how to start an online business. And because of that, I started seeing ads around dropshipping, SMMA, e-commerce, all types of online businesses. So I did all my research and one business model really interested me and that was SMMA social media marketing agency because I was learning everything around growing a social media page so that I can grow my personal brand and I had interest in graphic design so I thought social media marketing agency fits the best for me so that's what I did so I bought online courses watch everything in the course and tried to learn as much as possible. At that time, I did quit my full-time job because I didn't have enough time to work on my side business. So the first thing I did was find a part-time job. Also in a grocery store, but much better. And it was part-time. So I had more time to work on my side business. It was to work four days a week. So I had three full day to work on my side business. There was also a benefit of having a part-time job because 
I had to pay less taxes. So for a few months, I tried to learn everything I can about starting an online business and about how to start a social media marketing agency. Finally, I think around February of 2020, I launched my business. I got a bookkeeper and officially started my side business, a social media marketing agency. I started reaching out to local businesses to get clients. And it started off really well. I got clients for web design, for logo design, for social media management, for Facebook and Instagram ads, even Google ads. I got clients like photographers, a wedding planner, restaurants, personal trainer, even gym and small accessory shops. I was feeling really good and really was I was really enjoying closing new clients, working with the clients. And as you know in 2020 COVID-19 hit and then we had lockdowns. So a lot of businesses, local businesses had to close to close down. Most of my clients I think yeah, like 90% of my clients were local businesses. So they were having trouble with their finances. So they had to drop me. And just like this, I lost almost every client because of the lockdown. I went through a hard time. I even cried. It was really difficult. I had a lot of stress as well. At that time, I thought it, was, it wasn't it was really stress. But when I now, now think about it, <laughs> I was... I had a lot of stress. That was in 2020. Luckily, I still had my part-time job that was supporting my business. I still had to pay taxes. I still had to pay my bookkeeper. So because I had a part-time job, it was supporting my business to keep my business alive. And I tried to find new clients. I did find some new clients, but then even in 2021, we had lockdowns. My clients had difficulty with their finance, so they had to let me go. I was having a difficult time finding new clients because a lot of local businesses didn't have enough to pay for my services. So I was really going through a tough time. I had to take a break, then try again. I got some few clients. I lost a few and it kept on through the rest of 2021. In 2021, because it was so hard for me, I really had a lot of stress. Uh, I had down moments because it wasn't working. It was hard. I wasn't seeing results. I had the thoughts about quitting, stopping my business because it was it was really hard. But no, I thought. I can't give up. I have to keep going. So I did. I kept going for the rest of 2021. And still barely I was seeing results. I was really having a hard time. So in 2022, I wanted to try a different way of getting clients. Instead of going after local businesses, I tried to find clients online. So I made an account on Upwork to find freelance clients. I posted my work on there. <clears throat> so I started doing outreach on Upwork to find social media management clients, content creation for social media, Facebook and Instagram ads. But I had no luck. I, I was not getting clients from, from that as well. And I tried, it, I tried it for like three months till March. I think around March. I thought in 2022, I'll give it another shot and try a different way. I had no luck, I, I didn't get any clients. I did a lot of outreach and still wasn't getting new clients. I didn't put the blame on lockdown because there were still agencies that were doing well through lockdown. And it was also because I wasn't an expert in, in my services. I was good, but I wasn't that good like an expert. So I finally decided to stop with my business. I gave it a shot. I tried it for two years and finally decided to quit. It was really hard because you've been working 
on this for two years. I felt like I was disappointing my mom and myself as well. Now I had to start all over again from zero and it's scary and it's it's hard to do that. It's like you wasted two years on nothing. So I did, I did quit my business. I took a week to take a rest and reflect on it. And there are a few lessons that I've learned from my first business that failed. The first lesson that I've learned is that failure is part of the process. You hear it a lot from successful people that they have failed a lot before they eventually succeed. Mark Cubans even said, you only have to be right once. So you have to learn from the experience that you had and all the knowledge that you have gained to use them for your next business. Don't just give up. If one thing doesn't work, try to do it another way or try a different path. And I just want you to keep trying. That's something that I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep trying. So should you just find a different way. The second lesson I've learned is don't just think about making money or easy money when you are choosing a career or when you're thinking about starting a business because you have to do it long term you have to think long term so if you are going to do it long term you got to love what you do like steve jobs says you have to love what you do i really believe that so moving forward i'm going to do something that really excites me that i think is meaningful that fulfills me so do something that excites you, something that excites you to wake up in the morning. Something that is meaningful, something where you feel fulfilled and something that you can do long term. I understand there are people who say your passion will keep you poor. I do understand it, but maybe 30 to 40 years ago where there was no internet, so like it was really hard to make it as for example, I'm a musician or an artist or whatever you do. But we're living in a different time where there is internet. So you can reach millions of people with the thing that you love to do, what your passion is. And you can even monetize uh, your passion. You can earn a living from your passion. There are a lot of examples on the internet. So. I would say, do something that you love, follow your passion. I really do believe that's something that I'm going to do. So do something that you love. If you love what you do, you'll be the best at it. And try to earn a living from the thing that you love to do. For me, it was YouTube. I even started this YouTube channel before I started my first business. I started this YouTube channel to inspire and motivate others to become a better version of themselves and to document my journey through life. A YouTube channel where I can share my thoughts and my experiences with doing challenges and going through my self-improvement journey. I wanted to share it with you. So after I stopped with my first business, when I was reflecting on things, I was thinking about what I wanted to do next. And it was simple, I wanted to do YouTube. I wanted to create content that inspire and motivate others to become better where I f feel like I'm doing something meaningful when I get positive and kind comments or messages it really makes my day and I get the feeling that I'm really doing something that's meaningful that is having a small impact so I think that creating inspiring content valuable content is what I'm really passionate about that's something that excites me to wake up in the morning. And I see myself doing this for the rest of my life. This is the path that I chose. I want to keep on creating content that inspire others, that motivate others to become a better version. I want to give as much value as possible and to have, I want to have a positive impact on their lives. And this is something I'm really passionate about. So I'm going to keep on doing it. Even if I don't earn a living from it, I will keep on doing it because I feel like I've really found something that that I really want to do for the rest of my life. 
So I'm going to keep on doing it. Even if I don't succeed, I'm just gonna keep on trying and trying and trying until I do. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to keep on go going. So I'm not afraid of failing because I know that failure is part of the process. So I'll probably fail more in, in the future, but I'll keep, keep that in mind that it's part of your process, part of the journey to success. I will keep believing in myself. I will have this mindset of I'm going to make it or I will die trying. For those of us who are still pursuing our goals and our dreams, I'd say don't let the obstacles and the opinions of others stop you. Keep going and maybe slowly but surely we'll make it.